This is Joe with Joe's Astrophoto.com and tonight we're going to be in New Zealand with Logan from Logan's Astrophotography and we're going to be taking some images of the Southern Hemisphere. So Logan from Logan's Astrophotography invited Glenn and I to take over his observatory in order to capture some Southern Hemisphere targets. Uh, I've been super excited to try this out. I've always wanted to take some Southern Hemisphere targets and I told him that I would return the favor at some point if the clouds ever left here. Uh, it's been a really bad summer here where I live for astrophotography. Um, we've had a lot more rain than normal and a lot more clouds than normal. So I just jumped at the chance to be able to, to take Logan up on his offer. If you haven't seen Logan's channel, um, you really need to check it out. It's, it's really cool. He's got some really um, cool videos so far and some amazing images at the end. So I'll post a link to that and uh, check it out when you get a chance. And for now, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our targets that we're gonna take tonight. The Statue of Liberty Nebula. That's right, it never gets above the horizon here, but I get to image it tonight. It's about 9,000 light years away from home, and it's about 100 light years across. And of course it gets its name because of the image in the center looks very much like the Statue of Liberty. It, it lies in the Sagittarius arm of the galaxy, and like I said, it's, it's a southern hemisphere target. I never get to see it here ever. Uh, I'm hoping that I can get uh, about four or five hours of data on it, and I'm going to be taking it in the SHO color palette. But that's not all, because after I'm done with the Statue of Liberty, I'm going to set my sights, or Logan's scope, on the Fighting Dragons of Aura. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but that's the way I'm going to say it. I never have to say it because I never get to target it here. Anyway, I love that target as well. Um, I actually like it in color and in the Hubble palette, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use his narrowband filters and take it in um, SHO as well. So in the Southern Hemisphere, it's winter. So I've got short nights right now and I'm lucky if I can get about five to five and a half hours of imaging done per night. Um, but in New Zealand, He's get, uh, Logan gets about um, 11 good hours to image. So I'm gonna start right around um, between six and seven, and I'll probably be finishing between five and six. So I'm hoping, yeah, to get 11 hours um, between the two targets, and I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough time to do either target justice, but for me, never getting to ever image these targets, I'm, gonna, I'm thrilled. I'm gonna be thrilled just to get the sub exposures and not even the images themselves um, so normally I'm standing here well I'm still standing here uh, in front of my telescope so that you could see um, the gear that I'm going to use to acquire my target however um, since I can't stand in New Zealand at the moment uh, I'm gonna let Logan uh, tell you about his setup and what I'll be using tonight Hi Logan here, um, standing in my observatory down in Auckland, New Zealand and this is the setup that's been used for the imaging um, and I'll just run through what we've got on the system at the moment. So the main imaging scope that's being used is the Skywatcher Esprit 120 triplet refractor and right down here at the back um, that's collecting all the nice data is the ASI 2600mm Pro which I've only just recently received and bolted onto the system. Um, I've also got the ZWO 7 position 2 inch filter wheel with the Optilong narrowband filters and the Beta LRGB filters. Uh, this is the Pegasus Astro um, Focus Cube 2 which is doing all the focusing, or the auto focusing should I say. And then um, sitting up here doing the guiding is the Orion 60mm 
guide scope with helical focuser and then the 1.25 inch ASI 290 mono mini camera uh, for guiding. Now I also have just sitting up the front here in front of the guide scope uh, the Pegasus Powerbox Advance uh, which has been really useful for distributing power to the accessories um, cl you know close up on the top of the scope there and uh, acting as a, a bit of a USB 3 hub it's a, a great little handy device and then this all sits on top of a bit of a beast of a mount this the ioptron cem 120 and uh, I, I really am enjoying this mount um, it's got uh, a ton of inputs and outputs for power usb 3 and then it's got this really nicely organized cable management system which means that uh, i don't have to have any cables running from the telescope down to the ground it's all quite separate um, everything up top um, cable through below and as you can see there's nothing in between here to get caught when the telescope is slewing around. So that's a quick rundown of the equipment that's being used um, tonight to image some of the lovely southern hemisphere targets we've got down here um, to view in little old New Zealand so um, time to close off the roof and uh, wait for night to come. Back to you Joe and Glenn. <coughs> Still can't get enough of this roof going by itself. So cool. Hello. Hello. Ah, Can you hear us? Ah. Now we're talking. <laughs> Excellent. Hi, Logan. Nice oh. to meet you, sir. Hi, Glenn. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm new. I'm new to all this kind of um, this stuff, and so I'm trying to get everything to work. And at the last minute, I decided to rush inside from the observatory and do it inside the house because it's warmer. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't worry logan we fumble our way through this technology ourselves you know it's not <laughs> we might look like we know what we're doing but we don't it's <laughs> the advantage of editing a video isn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh we do a lot of editing will your cat will your cat be joining us uh no i don't really care. You know, I no, i'm just, I'm just up somewhere on a chair actually given half a chance she'd be sitting on my lap so yeah <laughs> so, we were laughing so you're 6 p.m aren't you Logan? yeah 6 p.m so you're 6 a.m 7 a.m 7 daylight saving and and joe's midnight, midnight yeah, yeah. <laughs> so joe yeah. looks like he's been up all night i look like yeah. i've just dragged myself out of bed and <laughs> Logan, you're looking pretty fresh. <laughs> We've had weirdly, I like, I got a new, this new camera. So, you know, expect like, you know, two or three weeks of bad weather. And um, we've had, oh, wasn't it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and tonight, Saturday, clear nights. Nice. Wow. So, unbelievable. So I've been imaging each night, but usually till about one o'clock in the morning, because I know that I've got to want to do a bit more the next night. <laughs> nice. nice. So, yeah we've just joe and i have both been completely clouded out for the last week oh yeah yeah look saturday. at that it's like a holiday i say you've got an extra <laughs> <on. Saturday>, <laughs> <laughs> i've woke my son up uh, <laughs> <laughs> i just had like this freaky hand on my yeah. i'm gonna say I okay i had um where are we fighting i had loaded up I'd framed up these guys just in case you wanted to be ready to go or whether you wanted to frame it yourself. So oh, this, um, so this you... is service. Look at yeah, this. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> you, can see, you can see the fighting dragons where they are at the moment. This is where we're heading to officially darkness. So Brilliant. Um, but, you know, this one is pretty much most of the night. It might be getting a bit low by the time it gets to here. But... Cool. Um, statue is here so it's starting to um, head down yeah. and we're about midnight there so it's probably about 30 degrees and it might start heading behind that's fine we can switch over okay. then we'll, at least we'll get a good a bit yeah. of time on it what's yeah. your bottle scale there logan that was so what we wanted to ask i think we're, we're it's said to be a sort of a five probably five to six are we, are we ready yeah it looks Let's good joe it. all right i'm excited <laughs> yeah nice. i'm so let's call up that joe that drag up that uh that that scope so we can see it in action oh yeah oh look 
Yeah, just a few seconds now. Okay. Yeah. Fingers crossed. This is uh, oxygen free, isn't it? Yes. This is will be the first time I've ever imaged this target. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it was good timing that this camera arrived, actually. Here goes the drum roll. Ooh. Okay, so there's the oxygen. I mean, it's, it's not nice. super rich in oxygen. It still looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Scroll in, Joe. That's it. Well done. Oh, yeah. nice. See what those stars look like. Make <laughs> sure they look round. <laughs> it's going to be a fun processing this because obviously never never touched this before. Not long to go now. No. <laughs> there we go. Oh. oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Okay, time to zoom in. Maybe. Yeah, that that's. Oh, there we go. So there, yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I like that uh, as well. Look to oh. the right-hand side of that. I like that uh, cloud detail down there as well. Yeah. I like that when it does that ribbon effect. It's nice. Oh, look zoom. at that. That's got some... Uh... Zoom in there. Wow. Oh, it's really <laughs> nice because it's got like a bright star behind it. So you've got all that where it lights it up. Yeah, that glow. Yeah. That's really nice. Which look at nice. that. And I was just saying, I like that there. That 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 detail there is good, isn't yeah, it? Look. Yeah, yeah. So waves of cloud and dust and stuff. Oh wow, that's a nice target. That. Yeah. So wow. though, although it looks like the center's off to the to one side, although to be honest with you, when I, when I did the the framing, I thought I had the center a bit slightly more into the I center. I like that but because I you think there's a you wouldn't detail you wouldn't have right. that that yeah. off to the right. Otherwise, you'd lose no. it. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm really chuffed with that. It's going to look nice. It looks really nice. Mm. That is really um, nice. I'm liking gonna... this camera. Yeah, I'm liking your camera too. Overall, it was a great night. I really enjoyed working with Logan and, of course, as always, Glenn. We had a, a lot of fun. Uh, it was kind of hard for me. I was up for a while. <laughs> Then I fell asleep and I got up and we were still imaging. It was a very strange feeling. Uh, I really enjoyed the opportunity to be able to take some Southern Hemisphere targets. I went ahead and looked at the data after we were done and I did uh, process both images already. I'll be showing those here in a minute. I just wanted to let you know that I probably went a lot overboard on the Statue of Liberty because I was super excited. So um, take that one with a grain of salt when you see it. It looks a little crazy. And the uh, Fighting Dragons of Ara, I actually came up with my own uh, custom palette for. And so maybe in a future video, if anyone's interested, I'll, I'll show what I did in the pixel math to come up with that. But I hope you enjoyed the images. Uh, as always, if you like this kind of content, please smash that like button and we'll see you in the next video.